Hi class, just want to give you a quick demonstration of what happens when you have integral windup. So right now I have a regular PID controller without any windup control code. And you can see it's working uh, really well. If I put my hand over it'll move. Um, or if I turn off the light, it'll move. So it's keeping that position. But let's see what happens when I give it something to integrate. So I'm going to pull the sensor away so I can't cover it. And now this whole time it's just integrating that error that it can't um, cover the photoresistor. So now if I put it back, you can see it's not stopping. The problem was the integral got so big while the motor was working its hardest that even when it gets back to it, the, when the photoresistor is shaded, it's not enough to turn off the integral part of the controller and make it stop. So what I'm gonna do is now boot some other code with integral windup control. So, okay, so it's found its position. Um, you can track it well. And you see it oscillates a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is, this does have windup control so that when the motor's working its hardest, it won't integrate. It'll just stop integrating. So we don't run into this problem. So I'll pull the sensor away, like we did before, and let it spin a couple times to let the integral, um, well, let the motor work its hardest. But last time when the integral was building up, this time it won't. And you can see, again, it stopped when it got to the desired position. So let's show that again. So in the old code, this would have been just building up an integral, making it such that uh, the integral portion of the PID controller would be very large and dominate the proportional and the derivative parts. Uh, whereas with integral windup, you can see that we can, it uh, turns off the integral part when the motor's working its hardest because it doesn't need to integrate any harder. Thanks.